Hello, ladies, gents, and weeps. I saw in the news that a few days ago, three days to be exact, Instruct Pix to Pix got implemented in Automatic 11.11, no installation required. Instruct Pix to Pix is a game changer in image to image edits. What it does is, given an instruction, it changes only the subject that it's talked about. You can give the instructions in natural language, no need for prompt engineering. As you see, the vase and the background is the same, but only the subject that needed to be changed, it did. As you see in the example, the image is almost intact. Uh, it gets added only the subjects in the instruction. And the uh, image is almost the same and there is not going to be weird generations in image to image. Does very well. Well, how does instruct pix to pix work? In a technical perspective, instruct pix to pix combines a language model GPT-3 and a model from Stable Diffusion and the result is it can make edits in natural language without modifying the image. We see here a lot of examples. Alright, so let's dive into updating automatic 11.11 and straight into the installation. I'm in my stable diffusion folder to, uh, to update stable diffusion and get the latest version of automatic 11.11. Uh, press shift in your keyboard, manually press it, right click and open a PowerShell window and type git pull. Now that you have the latest version of automatic 11.11, let's go right into the installation. First, you need to go to the Hugging Face website and we need to download the model first because without the model it won't work. So let's choose the save tensors file right here. It's 7GB so we need to wait for a while. And once you have downloaded the model, you have to move it into this folder in, you know, in your default stable diffusion folder inside models, inside stable diffusion and paste that right here. And now let's dive into automatic 11.11 UI. Alright, we're inside the automatic 11.11 UI um, and select instruct pix to pix, it should be right here. If it's not, you should click the refresh button, which is right here. Now let's wait a second for the model to load. And let's go to image to image. Alright. Now, in automatic 11.11, there should be a new slider called image CFG scale. This is like CFG scale, but it's reversed. The less the value it is, the strong the effect of instruct pix to pix will become. So the default value that I like to play with is at 1. But if you like a more smaller effect, you can leave it to 1.5. But let's choose it to 1. And the noisy strength should be set to 1 as well. The sampling steps 20 should be fine, and the sampling method. I like Euler A with instruct pix to pix because works the best for me. Alright, let's import an image and we have the Eiffel Tower in here and let's try to replace for example the trees with palms so you have to give it an instruction like what if the trees were replaced by palms? Click Generate. And as you see, 
from trees, they transformed into palms, meanwhile keeping the Eiffel Tower and the background the same. The image is a bit squished because I didn't match the resolution with the original image. Now I should do. Let's do it again. And voila! Instead of trees, we have palms, like in the Philippines. Let's try an another example. We have this picture from Antarctica. And let's make it for example... Let's do the opposite. Since it's, since, it's, since it's too cold, let's make it very hot. So let's type what if it was a desert. Simple, you just talk to it in natural language. And the mother is going to understand. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't match. The original image, I forgot. Alright, now that should do. And as you see, I mean, it kinda transformed this image into a desert. You ask it a hypothetical question like, what if it was a desert? What if it was night? What if you add fireworks to the sky and so on? The choice is yours. I observe that this model works the best with environments, but with people not really quite. For example, if you want to change the clothes, if you want to uh, change the color of the clothes, if you want to, for example, move objects in space. Instruct pix to pix is not advanced yet to do that, but you can modify the environment around it. Let's try another example. We have this view of Arizona. So let's make it snowy, shall we? What if mm, it was snowy? And you should expect to get some snow. And yeah, it kept the details the same and it only added the snow. That's how it should look in reality if it snowed in here, and it did very well. You can play with this denoising strength if you want, you can leave it to 0 0.9, you can uh, drag the slider to 1.45 to 1.6, but the default is 1. Changing the sampling steps, however, if you, even if you put it to 50 or to 100, it won't change. It's gonna be almost the same result. But leave it to 20. But of course, if you have any dobs, just use the X and Y in Z plot. And from there, you are gonna choose the best settings that is gonna match your, your needs. Alright, so that's it for today. I'm gonna drop an in-painting tutorial very soon and again thank you for watching and see you soon. Whips.